Hi, this is Ezekiel Chiu, founder of Asia Forex Mentor. So in this video, I'll be revealing what I do on a weekly basis and I'll be sharing my analysis for this week, which is the 25th of January 2016. So you can refer to this video throughout the week to spot for trade setups. The analysis in this video will be my training plan for the week. In my weekly analysis videos, I'll be sharing pairs that are possible setup for the weeks or pairs that are worth taking note. All right. So uh, first brand I'm going to talk about is the S&P 500, right? S&P 500. So um, by so far, S&P 500 has been going uh, as per how we have been planning for it. And then price has now reached the lowest point of all the previous lows, which we have, which we have pointed out here, 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 and here. Right, so price has been uh, dropping right now and, and reached the lowest point of all the previous lows. So once if it does break through the lowest points, the, which I have marked by the red line as plotted as the lowest point of the current uh, last week bar itself, it's going to be a downtrend. It's going to be a downtrend for the stock market itself. So, but from what I see last week itself, uh, as per what we have mentioned, we did talk about it's going to come down and it's probably going to come back down and bounce us back up. And it did. All right. And it did. And it formed a nice long looking pin. So um, from what I see this um, this week or this week onwards could be a retracement week. Right. So price is now... Uh, really in a, a, a crucial level here but uh, the, the closing has closed above my 150 uh, moving average so is it, it has been it, it has been coming uh, sharply down and it's now looking to bounce right up uh, for a retracement right so if we look at the previous history uh, for previous pin bar so this is a current pin bar the last time around there was a pin bar over here pretty short one it worked it went up there was a pin bar over here it worked, it went up. There was a long tail pin bar over here, it went up. There was a long tail pin bar over here, it hovered around, right, hovered around, um, made a little bit higher, came back down to form another pin bar, and then it went up. So now again, so all this while, all this while, the S&P has been showing pin bars that work. Right, so right now, you're just showing a pin bar over here. So, because here is a, a, a very crucial level, a lot of traders and uh, investors all over will, will be watching uh, uh, this week itself and uh, all in all right, all in all those who are those who are buying right all in all those people who, are, who own stocks will want the stock market to go up correct yeah so I would say uh, they, they will look at this as a, a nice rejection area for, for a bounce up and then uh, they, they probably think it will probably go way even higher but who knows right but from what I can see is we can expect a little retracement over here and uh, once it does retraces back up uh, depending on how far you go if it does goes up right next stop will be the the lows over here and the highs over here and the lows over here so this will be a strong rejection level so if I go on to the daily time frame let's see yeah once it does goes up this is where the all the yeah, price was holding back then after it broke through which is my white line 365 and price was holding back then over here which is also being helped by my white line 365 so when price does do go up all the white line and my two other lines will start coming down right and this area will, be, will, not, will then form a very strong rejection level so uh, if price do goes up then i'll be looking for a selling opportunity a long way here for for it to uh, for me to sell its way downwards right so this is the outlook for s p and uh, for the most likely than not for the rest of the stock index for this week. So the next pair will be the uh, Nikkei, right? The Nikkei. So I, I don't really talk about this pair. And this is probably the first time I talk about this pair. But it is still worth talking. And, and, and the stock market has been uh, the same, not only in S&P. It is throughout the whole world, right? So the whole world last week itself kind of formed a, whole, a, a buying pin, right? On the weekly time frame. And is, this buying pin is also bouncing off the my Bollinger and my 150 and it's also bouncing off here was the highs the highs the highs eventually it broke through it came back that's the highs so all this line is a very crucial strong line and price is now coming back down to test the old line once again and and if, and, and, and it couldn't break through and came back up and form a pin so we can expect this to be a strong rejection up as well so all in all I expect this week to be a retracement week but and, and uh, if it does break through the lows over here same as the S&P then it will be a downtrend uh, for the stock market as a whole.
Okay, next. CHF uh, JPY. So CHF JPY, if I look okay, at this, is that it has been trending down uh, for, for the last, since 2015, it has been trending down. All right, trending down, trending down, trending down. So price is now stopping at the 150, which is a strong uh, rejection level. And it formed a pin bar last week itself. So uh, I, I do feel that uh, it, it, it's going to reject a little. It's going to, it's going to retrace up a little. Although the overall trend is still down, but uh, the weekly is showing a strong rejection level. So we can expect price to go up a little. Let's see on the daily time frame. Yeah. Okay, so we can expect price to retrace up a later towards the next, towards the, the, the high, which is the previous lows and the red line that we kind of have over here. And also, which is also maybe somewhat where at the previous Bollinger Band is. So um, for now, this week, CHF Yen will be more or less for a retracement as well. GBP CHF. GBP CHF, uh, let's see. It has broken um after uh, I think we did talk about this pair itself. It, here was the point whereby it broken through all the lows and, and it started headed down. So it headed down and then uh, it kind of uh, kind of stalled at all the previous lows that we have over here, somewhere here. Yeah. And then uh, this price is now from a bullish bar last week itself. It's it's like trying to reverse its way back up. But overall down the strength is still down. The strength is still down. If you look on the daily time frame itself, here is the lows, the lows, the lows. Eventually, it broke through. So price is now going back up to test the old strong rejection line once again. And uh, here is here here is the here was the 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 old the old line, and it is also going up to test the four hour uh my moving average and one fifty over here. So we can expect price to have a rejection over here, which is starting to form. So um, but the, the we, what we can note is that the the uptrend is really pretty strong so i i do expect price to retrace or hover around this area right this is a crucial area if it does breaks through then it's going back up in towards the the old upper trend so once it does breaks up the next stop will be the the 365 we have over here but we can expect price to probably retrace and probably do come down a little bit more yeah so this is gbp chf next pair xag usd silver right silver so silver itself Silver itself, um, last week itself, it formed a long tail selling pin. So this is a trend line that I draw. So by far, it is still respecting the trend line. It's still in the. It's still. Oh, it's still heading lower lows, and it's still. Uh, and so far, there's no close that close above the trend line. And for last week itself, it formed a selling pin. So, but if we look at the four hour, price is getting held back by the, the my, my two lines over here which is the reason why price is holding it back here so this is a four hour the one hour price is also being held back by three lines over here in the one hour the 30 minute we can also see the lines over here so all in all price is now being held back by a multiple time frames rejection level in the middle part which is what which is kind of preventing the pin from taking off but if it does breaks through all this all the the uh, my, my, my levels over here when it does breaks through then then that will be where I want to start taking note and then look look for opportunities to sell once it does breaks through my three levels across all the different time frames okay next USD CHF USD CHF let's see okay here was the highs the highs uh, here was the low so this line was a pretty crucial line last week itself and last Friday it closes above the line so it is an indication that it is going to hit up already so we can expect price to to come back down to retrace to the old line to test it once again and if this is held solid right if this is solid there's no bar that closes below it's still held solid then we can look for opportunities to buy usd chf okay next aud usd aud usd um let's look at this bigger okay yes uh yes broken through the previous low and last week itself, he's heading back, right back up again to form a two two bar combination. It's something like he's trying to hit its way back up, right? And 
if we look at it, uh, I draw the later trend line over here, which is marked by the previous lows and lows. So price came down to test the low and couldn't could and then got rejected by the trend line and then bounces back up. So we can say it is now in a pretty much crucial zone where it's kind of being held back by the, the top part over here and the selling pin over here. If it does break through, so I, I, I pretty much mark this as a crucial zone. If it does break through, then it's heading back up towards the next zone and probably kind of stall around the next stop where it will stop is probably the Bollinger area or even the 150 where all the previous high is. So probably it's around this area when it does break through. Okay, next pair, Euro JPY. Euro JPY last week itself, it formed a buying pin. So there's a lot of buying pins throughout last week itself. And, and if we look at it, here was pretty strong rejection area, the lows, the lows, the lows. So, uh, and that's the reason why it's kind of stopped here because here was a strong rejection level. So, um, all in all, I actually, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for once price breaks through this, this area, we can expect price to retrace back up. If it does go up, it's probably hover around the, the 365 over here. But once it does break through, then I'm looking for opportunities to sell once again. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's so this week itself, there's a lot of uh, uh, retracement pins itself. So we can expect quite a couple of retracements for this entire week itself. But once the retracement pins are broken, that's where the big money is. So uh, like I like I do mention that the, this year could be a tremendous opportunity for us traders. And uh, because we traders makes a lot of money when the market crashes, when disasters happen. I'm, I'm, it's, it's sad to say that, but that's how we make huge money because the market drops real fast in uh, when the market crashes, when disasters strike. So that is where we want to capitalize on it. So um, this year will be a very, uh, uh, could be a very uh, rewarding year if we, uh, if we get in uh, and able to capitalize when the market breaks through or the crucial zones that I've, I've come, kind of gone through just now. So uh, if you aren't really uh, uh, getting yourself prepared, do get yourself prepared. And once the opportunity comes, if I can, I will let you all know. But, uh, no, but just do get yourself prepared for the big movement this year. Okay, so that's all for this week. I'll see you all next week.